In the global race to innovate artificial intelligence, the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory is teaming up with a Bay Area chip maker, NVIDIA, and the Department of Energy to build a new ultra-fast and energy-efficient supercomputer. We got a tour inside the Berkeley lab where their current computer is already helping 11,000 scientists all around the world with research, discovery, and innovation that will soon become even more accelerated. When Jonathan Carter takes a stroll between the giant mainframes inside the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. It's an amazing place. Even he is still amazed about where he has worked for the past 30 years. Every morning I get up, I wonder what interesting things we'll be doing today, what science will be discovered. Those discoveries courtesy of Pearl Mutter, the 19th fastest supercomputer in the world part of the National Energy Research Supercomputing Center, known as NERSC. So NERSC is available for anyone who is researching a scientific problem that is related to the Department of Energy's mission. Missions that include creating nuclear fusion simulations, biological research, climate projections, or even mapping the universe, which takes a vast amount of computing power. So imagine you have a really souped up laptop or a gamer PC. And imagine you could put 10,000 of them together and wire them together very tightly so that any one program that you are running could execute on all those 10,000 CPUs at the same time. And now an even faster supercomputer is under construction. Last week, Energy Secretary Chris Wright and NVIDIA's Jensen Wong were at the Berkeley lab to make the announcement. We're going to take a giant step up in several areas in high-performance computing for scientific computing, but also artificial intelligence, as well as quantum classical computing. The computer will be called Doudna, named after UC Berkeley professor Jennifer Doudna. Uh, I can't wait to see what Doudna is going to calculate. <laughs> in 2020, she won the Nobel Prize for the development of CRISPR and gene editing technology. For me, it really signifies the coming together of computing and biology. This is the future. You know, this is how new, the next breakthroughs are going to be made. Breakthroughs in science that will now be at least 10 times faster. We're not sure exactly how powerful it will be, but we hope that it will be in the top five, maybe even the top three. But what Carter does know, what used to take days to compute, will now only take hours. Well, the Doudna supercomputer will be built by next year and go online in 2027. Currently, the world's fastest computer, El Capitan, is also in the Bay Area at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory.